This is the eighth small group discussion with J. Krishnamurti and Gustad, 1962. Pouvez-vous me permettre de vous poser la question que vous m'aviez demandé de vous poser hier Je vous ai demandé de vous poser Oui, que je vous posais, vous n'aviez ah, pas le temps d'y répondre. Bien, bien, bien. Voilà. Si l'on est totalement éveillé devant un fait important, si totalement éveillé que toute tentative pour fuir le fait soit immédiatement démasquée et enrayée, alors se produit cette transformation spontanée et explosive dont vous parlez. Mais si on n'est pas éveillé, ne faut-il pas attendre qu'un moment d'éveil surgisse spontanément Ou ne peut-on se forcer à l'éveil Mais alors on introduirait un mobile, une méthode, etc. Deuxièmement, vous avez jadis fait une distinction entre la volonté de désir, « will of desire », et la volonté de compréhension, oui, of understanding. Cette distinction est-elle justifiée C'est une question, simplement. L'être humain ne peut-il avoir le désir de comprendre pour comprendre, de voir pour voir, quelles que puissent être les conséquences, et ce désir ne peut-il pas être une cause d'éveil Troisièmement, vous avez dit aussi que vous écoutez simplement, sans mettre en application ce qu'on a compris, était stérile. Mais la mise en application ne suppose-t-elle pas un effort, le désir d'atteindre un but, et nous retombons alors dans un piège que vous avez maintes fois signalé Merci. Alors. Perhaps other questions, those three questions can be answered. But what I was going to talk a little bit about this morning, and I hope that by discussing that, the three questions which you raised will be answered. I should have thought it would be a rather important question to ask ourselves, or if we have not asked ourselves, to ask ourselves. If there is a total change, we've met here now for, what, eight, nine, eight, eight, mm -hmm. we have had ten talks, eighteen talks, my Lord. And if there is a real radical change in each one, Not 
little changes, but a total change. I mean, one may give up smoking, but that's a very little affair. One that's very small. <coughs> I think when you compare, when you're, when you're concerned with a total, comprehensive and inward revolution, just to give up one or two little things has very little meaning. And I wonder if we have gone into that, because that's what uh, we were discussing yesterday. And the, the what it means to discover. And I think that discovery perhaps might ha might bring about this total change. That's what we were I was trying to get at yesterday. What do you say? We're afraid of words. That discovery <coughs> um, the, the coming here <coughs> is, I think, is of that nature because you can't do any homework or any preparation for these meetings. You can't think about how to respond to anything you're going to say. So you come totally unprepared and not having any idea what's going to happen. comes up and is recognized. For example, yesterday I returned from my walk so as to talk to people to be polite, so they wouldn't think I didn't want to continue a conversation. And I recognized that what I was doing, and then I put recognition aside and looked at what I was doing. And I couldn't see any meaning to it. 
or any sense to it. And so, looking at a thing without recognition, I don't see where it produces a insight. It's just a strange thing that you don't recognize at all. Listen, don't you see, I think we're making a mistake, aren't we? Taking particular instances, uh, but rather, instead of taking the whole thing, not just... Uh, I wonder... So let's put the problem differently, huh? which is a state, a mind that is so awake. Hmm? inwardly lit, as it were, that it has that nothing else exists but that inward awakened state. And with that it can meet anything. Follow? Could we discuss that a little bit? Am I putting the, making the thing too too abstract? No. Huh? It seems to me that we are approaching the thing, and I may be wrong, Fragmentarily, you know what I mean, taking little bits there, little bit there, and trying to put all the things together and somehow creep into a different state. Is the from being inwardly awake, and then everything falls into its place. You follow what I mean? How does one get about it? You see, one can discipline oneself and see the futility of it. Mm? One can mm, cultivate a certain morality and it becomes rather superficial and goody goody, or go into the question of virtue not as a state to be cultivated, developed, but virtue which is 
which is instantaneous, you follow? Like humility. And one can sit and meditate and control, uh, what, discuss what is attention and concentration, you know, take bit by bit, and put them all together and hoping something will take place, like building a house. That seems to me rather wasteful of time and does not bring a total a total comprehension, it's fragmentary. Hmm? Now what is the what is the thing or what is it that how can one come to this inward awakened state which which will answer rightly to all these problems. You follow what I mean? It will have a right answer about discipline, it will have a right answer about concentration, it will have a right answer about attention. Everything else comes from there rather than peripheral approach. I don't It seems to me we are approaching it from the outside in, from the periphery, step by step, in every direction, trying to get at the centre. How would you how would you set about? It is not possible to get it and to lose it. Once you have it, you have it. Yeah, don't talk about once you have it or, no, but or where, how long you will have it. That, leave all that aside. Our question is, if we don't approach it from the periphery to the centre, mm -hmm. if there is a centre, you follow what I mean, how would, from the, you know what I am told, how would you set up Surely, our difficulty because we've been turning around it for so long. No, here is a question. What would you do? How will you? What but if I knew, I would have done ah, it. No, 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 no. Of course, if you knew, you would answer. But that's not the point. It's an opening. No, you could. No. No, I would like to do. Is that state in existence covered over? Ah, no, no, no. Oh. That's how back to the good old stuff. The soul, the Altman being covered over, and the, uh, you know, all that stuff. No. Sir, if you didn't approach from the periphery, from the outside, mm -hmm. as we all do, how would you then, if you can't find a way that way, what would you do? You understand my question? If the peripheral approach or the from the outside try to get at the inner, mm -hmm. and you feel that that doesn't answer completely all your questions, and it's like having a very powerful light, huh? when that is on, you'll see everything very clearly. That you don't have to discuss, you don't. No, it is so. Now, how do you get to that light? But, but you say it's not there now. Huh? You say it's not, it doesn't exist now. Uh, no, no, don't assume. How will you get at it? You see, you're all. You have to start with listening, surely. Yes, one looks into oneself. <coughs> I have to, to see dramatically 
that by the periphery does uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, happens these things but really uh, I don't see it uh, so 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 deeply. Oh, I think the answer wrong. I get it. I get it. I get it. You battle with it, sir. Let's look at it. You battle with it. The peripheral approach, we'll use that word, yes. you know what it means. Just a... Yeah. Have you found that... Have you found that has deep, revealing significance? Christ, the Buddhas, the, you follow? The various systems of meditation, the various... <coughs> cultivation of disciplines and patterns and acceptances and beliefs. You for all those have you have you put those aside? I've uh, I have simply substituted with some other of this kind. No, don't do don't, don't cleverly answer. I understand sir. What if you have put those aside, if you say no, the peripheral approach doesn't get anywhere, it doesn't get me very deeply. I'll just be scratching on the surface. If you put that aside, what happens then? I don't know if I'm... I'm void. No, no, you haven't done it. Now you say I'm void, because not actually done it. That's what I mean. Why am You see... So we discuss fear. Hmm? We have discussed ambition. We have discussed authority. We have discussed the whole implication of recognition and analysis. Hmm? We have talked at fairly deeply about meditation and death. These are all outward. You, you listen and try to capture and then apply. apply. You follow? Now, if you, you, if you put all these outside pressures and the reaction to that, which is inward response of wanting to do or not to do, if you put all the peripheral things out, well, where are you at the end of it? I am at a loss. You're at a loss. Mm -hmm. You understand that family doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. Sex has very little meaning anymore. And smoking, drinking, uh, going to church, getting a job. You, they have all that. You follow? That's a nice getting a job, but you know, all that. When you have gone through all that, understood its proper place or no place, then where are you? Is this a legitimate question? I think it is, isn't it? But as we haven't done that, we why haven't, not if one hasn't done it, why? What do you that think? That is our problem. Our why hasn't one done we've it? We've been battling with it for years. What do you intend when you ask, is it a legitimate question? Is it like, you know, legitimate in the sense, no, uh, is it an extra... Uh, uh, spontaneous... Uh, no, 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 nonsensical question, as you might talking about something else and I've introduced. The, the legitimate... Legitimate mean is uh, if I feel this case. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's an English word, but how do you translate it? Is it a right question? Is it right... Um, yes, it doesn't matter, leave it. Opportunity. Opportunity. See, I am, I have a, I may be wrong. Is it that we are trying?
to get at something much, which is demand, or to get at something very, very deep, and not letting the peripheral uh, things go. You follow what I mean? It's like me, I suppose. I'm very ambitious, or I want to have a collection of all the famous people. Huh? You follow what I mean? As a snob. And then I talk about all these extraordinary deep things. There is no meaning. You follow what I mean? Yes. I am jealous, and I talk about You see, that's what I'm. Is it that we have not let this understood the peripheral approach and have relegated its values to its right place? You follow? And we have come to something which we know, which is that's not it. I don't think we have meeting you. Huh? Yes, but I think I think. In my case, at least, a difficulty is, now, I ask myself, as I've done, uh, what, to what do I owe authority, to what I am, uh, am I attached? <coughs> and everything that comes up into my mind, I look at it and I see I am not held by that. Even the Buddhist business is so simple, it doesn't hold at all. Then, but no where are you now? At the end of all this examination, yes. analysis, and searching, and groping, and questioning, where actually, where are you? The only thing that I note is a feeling of intensity in me. I'm really out, I'm out for blood, and the fact that I feel lighter. No, 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 no I understand all that. All right, having a, a good exercise, and you feel a little more helpful. Yeah, yeah. All right, but why not? That's not. I don't penetrate beyond that. They're unblocked. You discard everything, as that you see that it's false. You're trying to go into that, and you see the false in your Take one thing, sir. Have you gone very deep into meditation? Every thought that arises. Cut, cut it out! <laughs> Have you gone into it? Have you gone very deeply into ambition? You follow what I mean? Into jealousy, into this snobbish attitude towards life. Fame, you know, all that, or collecting famous people, knowing them and all that. Mm. Have you gone into it? In, in the sense that we've gone into subjects here, taking them one by one, no. Not one by one, sir. I mean, I took one. Let's take that and let's see. Perhaps that may be too difficult. Meditation. I took that at the beginning. Huh? Probably you, were, you haven't gone into it. Right? Not in the sense that we've gone into topics here. I no, 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 up. no. I just not I'm discussion. Not held, by not held by meditation. No. Go into it. Understand it. Tear it down. Break it through. You follow what I mean? Not accept, not in. Break everything to find out whether you, what is meditation. No? Probably not. No. Why not? not or take jealousy or envy and, you know, have we gone into it? Comparing, you know, all that business of envy and jealousy. So then what are we doing? <laughs> I, I think perhaps we misunderstand you in that uh, one, one thing you say is to be watchful always. Oh, that's just uh, one of the things. Just one, of the, one of the things, yes. 
which implies taking each of these things and... Going. Not each of the... So, look, we talked yesterday... What did we talk? Yes. Um, recognition, analysis and discovery. Hmm? We, dis we went into it. Did you go into it? So, I uh, said they couldn't have. And at the end, did you discover something? The only thing I discovered was that everything could be looked at without recognition. No, sir. No, sir. But me, that just. Sir, but. If we go through that process for one thing, for this to, if we we still go on in the same way for the rest, does it mean that we haven't gone ultimately to the bottom of it? Hey, after all, Madam, uh, we'll be dead in a few years. Finished. Of course. And what have you? Let me. No, my question. Since we have ever come to these meetings and discuss, at the end of it we leave with empty hands. You know what I mean? No. No. No, no. Krishna. Uh, 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 uh. I mean empty hands. <laughs> you may have little bits. I look what should we do? Look. Have you taken envy, hmm, jealousy, and gone to the very end of it, so that you are out? That is rather easy, I find. I, I think my, other things are much envy, more envy. Your, your particular thing may not be envy. And somebody says, maybe what? Uh, yes, yes, I know, understand. Something else. Fear. All right, if it doesn't anyway, fear. Have you taken it, gone into it, you know, analyzed it, recognized it, destroyed it? You follow? The Krishna is certainly not like you. I can't do it like you. It's impossible. Not like me. No, but this what it means of a weakness, of awareness, of intelligence, of this all here. You see it's but this is can't so dull. Then how then what's the point of our discussing? Oh yes, there's a lot of point in it. Maybe not for you, but for us. No, but if you were to ask me if I had gone into authority that way, then I, I would have to answer the truth, even though I sound like a fool, and I would say, yes, I have. So you're free of authority? Yes. Huh? Yes, I can find no place for myself where I'm held with authority. Then again, what? If you have really broken through authority, hmm, you know what we meant by authority experience, outer, inner, and idea, action, or the whole structure of authority, not just little bits of it here and there, but the whole of it. Where if you have broken through all that, if the mind has shattered all that, well, what is the state of the mind that has completely understood authority and is free from it? some way on, but not all, and that is that even though I, ha I have to say to myself, I can't find where I'm held by authority, yet the formulation of ideas continues in my well, mind. Yes, sir.
Est-ce que les cendres de tout cela, c'est un état naturel de simple pension Yes, sir. If it is. If there is natural attention, all this don't matter. So we'll finish. If there is real attention, you follow? Then the old jealousy and all these things disappear. They have no meaning anymore. But apparently, we don't seem to have that attention. Why? I can say, yes, for some things they are definitively gone. For instance, the authority of the church, to say oh, one. No, but is, why uh, I cannot realize the same uh, e e extreme uh, surety that they are gone for the other one? Oh, if I can do for one or for some other, I have just say, said one. It is obvious. Then you see, you see if, you have re if one has really understood the authority of the church, yeah. mm -hmm. you have understood the authority of, of the old. wife, you have understood the whole thing. That's, that's... You don't have to go bit by bit. Hmm. What, is the, what is the thing that prevents one? You're waiting to be told. No, no, no. What is, look what's happened. Take dog, what Otalani says. He says, I've completely got rid of the authority of the church. But I haven't, under, I haven't got rid of the other authorities. Hmm? Why? If I have understood authority of the church and I have not understood the other, the, the freedom from the authority of the church is merely a reaction. You follow? Is it said to be only a reaction? Isn't it because in another authority you are emotionally involved and then I, you are blinded? And therefore it is it. a reaction. If you have, if I have said, look, let me look at the authority of the church, what is implied? Authority, <laughs> not of the church. Yeah. Yes. Authority of my sister, authority of my, you follow, yes. wife, husband, children, authority. Then I would, from that I would expand and explode church and everything else. Yes, but you hold some things emotionally. And even that, I would say, I would say well, I'm, I'm conscious that I'm bound there, yeah. huh? but I would know. So what I have done is only a substitution. Uh, no, there is nothing, sir. There are millions of people have done church thrown overboard long. And just what is it, sir, that <coughs> prevents one from look, taking authority and being aware of it, going to it, so that it explodes all authority, not just in one direction. You see, there is the whole problem of knowledge. Hmm? And apparently knowledge is tremendously important in this world. Not only technological knowledge, but every other kind of knowledge. Spiritual knowledge, the mm, information, you follow knowledge, this enormous 
weight of centuries that man has collected in which we live. You follow? I don't ask. I mean, the man who has got tremendous encyclopedic knowledge, you consider him an extraordinary man. He's able to talk about everything. <coughs> So knowledge has tremendous importance to us. Hmm? And isn't it necessary to be free of knowledge, to discover? I'm keeping discovery at its ordinary level as an inventor. If he is crushed by the knowledge of his technological experiences and all the rest of it, he can't invent something new. The invention comes, so the, something new comes when the technological knowledge is in a bands, dormant, put away, and he's he's. He's looking from an empty mind. You follow what I mean? Not from a full mind which is heavy. And then he invents something. Hmm? Yes, but he had the full mind. He put it I aside. Had it. Yes, he had it. it. He had it. I agree. Wait, wait, wait. Just a minute. That is invention. Yes. Utilitarian. You follow? Yes. Uh, we are talking of something entirely different. Uh -huh, yes. Yes, yes. But isn't there something in life? No, no, just a minute. No, don't. Be. Look. That's why I want to make quite clear. Discovery. I can discover a new way of building a house. Mm -hmm. Though I'm an architect, engineer, and all the experiences. There must be a moment when the mind is is free from its knowledge, yes. so that to see something new. Yes, yes. Well, you follow? Yes. Then I invent yes. jet plane or uh, electronic this and brain, all the rest of it. But we are not talking invention. No. We are not talking of invention. We are not talking of creating something. Yes, yes. But we are talking of a mind that is aware of knowledge. Yes. Follow it slowly. Aware of knowledge, aware of invention, through the states of um, space, mm -hmm. when there is no crowding of knowledge. We are, and we are talking of discovery of ourselves, discovery of our jealousy. Discovery, not recognition of our jealousy. Hmm? And to, when I discover that jealousy, it then it has quite a different explosive uh, response. Now, I have gone through all this knowledge, invention, and uh, and recognition of my jealousies, envies, ambitions, and analysis, and I say, by Joe, that is, and I suddenly discover something. Discovering my jealousy, discovering my envy, discovering my uh, my petty little mind breaks the pettiness. Discovering it, but that is not enough. Huh? I must go somewhere. The mind must jump to something else. But this is simple. I mean, I can, I can, you follow? I can go through all this. But can the mind, having understood, put aside or what, pre all that, under, um, be in a state of creation, which is not invention? Well, that's every every Tom Dick and Harry back. Uh -huh. Course. American children oh, are extraordinarily inventive. Yes. And American people are all the rest of them. Not a whole lot of them, but some. 
but we're not talking on that. So there's, there's a movement. This. Do you you see what we are trying to do, most of us? We want to get to that without understanding all this and without shattering jealousy. You follow me? Without getting rid of this horrible idea of wanting to fulfil, be somebody. We haven't shattered all that and it can only be shattered through discovery, not through uh, self-analysis, recognition and all the rest of it, I discover that li leaves me at a certain point. I must come to that point. Is it possible to go beyond? That's all. Not beyond. You see, most people have done this, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Little bit. Little bit. Have come to a point when they say, well, I've got her of jealousy, envy, and all this stupid nonsense. I've gone through it. But they haven't discovered it. They have suppressed it, sublimated it, or um, identified themselves with Jesus, with Buddha, with somebody, so that these things are dormant, but not settled. It's like a vain man offering his vanity to God so as to become humble. That is still sin. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> so when I when I said, have we come to that point? We have the wrong idea that it's going to drop from itself. No, no, I explained that we explained carefully, didn't we? That discovery, discovering that I'm jealous. Not recognizing it, not analyzing it, but discovering by Joe and Jarus. But even so, sir, it remains restricted to jealousy. I'm taking that. It doesn't matter. Take one. I'm taking yes. one thing. It doesn't matter. I have found the importance of discovery, of discovery. That's what I. What is really important? Not one, two, three. But the mind that discovers. Yes. Then when, the, when such a mind is there, then I can discover much more quickly all the time and shatter it in a day. You follow what I mean? I don't know if you are getting yes, captured. Yes, yes, yes. No, but the fact is that it doesn't work that way. Ah, because you, you were never discovered. Yes. No, no, you have discovered something in the past, Senor. Don't please do listen to what I am saying. If I understand the state of the mind, if the mind understands the state in which there is a discovery, <coughs> not invention, we are not talking of invention, discovery of all the mechanism of oneself, the cogs, the contradictions, the urges, the desires, the, um, the ambitions, the, no, you know, the complex thing. If I know, the, if the mind knows this, the state of discovery, then I can discover and destroy them very quickly, the whole of them. That was my. Uh, that's what we were discussing yesterday. Yes. Not that I was at one time discovered it's gone, but I don't. I'm not talking of that. The state of the mind that's always discovering itself. Isn't it new for us this scientific, if I can use this word, approach to the thing on which we have always looked with emotional? That's not important. It's oh, yes, it is. Now, have. How, yes. You see, when one has discovered everything for oneself, the mind has discovered, then 
There is nothing more to discover. Yes, it is finished. Because little bits of floating things where my eyes are discovered, but it's finished. I, that's what is important. I don't know if you're. See, then I am not seeking anything. The mind isn't then groping after something, Reli- going back to its old stupid experiences, visions, and all. It has discovered everything and come to the end. I want that. Not everything about the universe. I'm not talking about that. Not talking of uh, how many miles it, but discovering the whole about oneself, or consciously, unconsciously, the whole content. You know, discovered it. <coughs> then you are. There is nothing secondhand after that. You follow? And I. You must come to that. To, to come to, to discover, for, for the mind to discover the limitations of seeking. And to discover it to end search. You follow? To discover what? For the search? What did you say just now? What did I say just now? Ah, see, without the limitation seeking. of seeking. The limitation of seeking. To end seeking. The most marvelous thing. implies the ending, <coughs> the ending of all experience. <laughs> the ending of all demand for experience. To discover that, you follow what I mean? Not to say, how am I to end sur- surge, which is but to, to, to discover for oneself the implications of search, you know what the, the implications of search are, which is, you know, I have failed, I must, oh, whole business, okay? and to, to discover it and therefore end all search and therefore all experience. That would be maturity. Because it's only the immature that tries to fulfill, that tries to uh, seek more, 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 have more. I'm not talking about clothes, houses, that kind. I'm not talking about anything of those kind, that kind. Hmm. 
then you see the mind is tremendously alert. You don't have to seek what alertness is and what, what, how to bring it about. It is there. When once it is there, then something else can take place, something mo another movement, totally different movement, disassociated from all this rubbish. But what we are doing, I'm afraid, is we carry on with the rubbish and we want something else. And we don't know how to how to gracefully put away all the rubbish. Without battle, without conflict, without suppression. You know, just say, well, let's go. And I think it's only possible when you discover it. I don't know if you're getting up. When you discover for yourself the rubbish. If you, dis if you say it is rubbish because somebody else has told me, you haven't discovered it. You are still with, when you accept that it is rubbish and pursue a pattern, a system of how to get rid of rubbish, you are still second hand. I don't know. <coughs> Discover you are alone. Discovery, you follow? You are alone. Mm -hmm. yes. No, I don't want to introduce that word for the moment. I don't see how you can do it without a complete change of life. I don't know what you mean. Like fun. <laughs> Conditions of life are really sometimes very difficult. Obviously. So. That's what Karina was saying yesterday. Yes. Well, that's true. I mean, we have to go back. He has to go back to Rome and start the old rubbish and be caught in it. Yes. Discovered the grocer's bill. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Grocer's bill and, and all the rituals, and all the. It's awful. No, 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 no. no. no it would not change automatically. Ah, no, no, not automatically. No, no, no. It's you mean to say a shirt, a trouser, a bill, a, a newspaper is going to. Oh, no, because that makes no noise. But when you hear a horrible radio, Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, even awful. the horrible radio. I, you follow? Yes, but it is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I Either it you is. switch it off or you accept and go on with it. Switch off in what sense? Switch it off if you have the radio no, in your room. If it, is if it comes from there, you go with it, like a dog barking. Yes, but I think that at the end it 
does something. I'm physically pain. You see, no, I wait. It may. You are so you may have to change pain. your house and go somewhere else. Yes, well, yeah. that's what I mean. Take a flat, a different flat, or a small flat, a different country. I, I, that's, I know. You find the solution that. Well, that's the only run. But I'm afraid it is. Uh, there's something in it. There's, uh, there's something in everything. You can get bogged up in everything all of a sudden. After all, there are so many solutions for the same problem. Uh, that's not. You see that? After all, when one. Um, it's extraordinary to go into it, you see? To once this discovery process is going on, taking place deeply, then there's nothing more to discover. Then radio, you adjust yourself to everything. You're too fake, you would. Discover me is a tremendous thing you have to understand many truths. You follow it, isn't just I have discovered as to select. <laughs> if Dr. Othalani says that I'm no longer bound to church because I have understood the authority of my wife, the authority of the police, you follow? It's finished. But that requires an astonishing watching sensitivity, you know. Thank you.